So here, this is some ball here. This is one more. Let's do one more. Here, 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 here. Hello programmers, I'm Yash and welcome to my video tutorial on Swift programming. So today we will be creating an application on augmented reality. What we will do is uh, whenever user touches screen, so we will place a sphere object in the scene of like random color and uh, it will stay there until the application is open and you will be able to interact with it. Like if you go farther from the ball, uh, the ball gets smaller and if you get closer, it gets bigger. And uh, one more thing, I will give you the pre the output of the application uh, beforehand so that you can see what we will be creating. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project. Here we are. So and uh, choose augmented reality app. Name it touch AR. Hit next and create. So here we are. And under view controller. We will be creating two functions under view did load. First, we will override touches, like we will use touches delegate. And another is we will create a ball. Okay, so for touches, just type touches and you will get the option. We will be using touches begin. So for code, let touch equals to touches dot first and uh, this statement throws error so let's guard it guard else return and now we need the result of the touch so let result is equal to scene view dot hit test and point will be something touch dot location and uh, location in sk node okay and node will be scene view and Oh, command Z hit enter and type will be dot feature point so now we have the result and what we need to uh, what we need is we need the last result so let point result is equal to result dot last okay guard let touch else I think I messed up with the spelling yeah guard right guard like touch equals to touches dot first okay and here we need to get rid of this exclamation point so we are good to go so result dot last and uh, this statement also throws uh, error so we need to guard it again and guard else return now we have the point result so the point where uh, the user touched so now we need to transform it so point transform equals to scn matrix 4 open close brackets and inside that point result dot world transform that's what we want okay now we have it uh, now we need to create a vector so it will be point vector and it will be scn vector 3 make with x y and z so x y and z are coordinates and this will be point transform dot and this are all like based on uh, motion and all that stuff but what we need is 41 so it will be like m 41 so 41 is x 42 is y and 43 is z so point transform dot m 42 which was y and point transform dot m 43 which is z now we will just pass in, uh, uh, we will create ball at this vector, okay? So now let's create function for creating a ball. Function create ball and we will pass in a position, okay? Position scn vector 3. So, so ball is a sphere, so let's call it a sphere is equal to 
SCN sphere and sphere with radius and radius will be 0 0.2 and uh, now we need to create a node so SCN node and we need to pass in a geometry which is sphere and uh, we will uh, assign node the position node.position is equal to position and we need to add sphere to our scene so scene view dot scene dot root node dot add child and it will be uh, just node we need to pass in a node so here we are uh, so we uh, one one last thing we need to give color to our sphere so let's create a color array so colors is equal to I, I will be using standard colors so UI color dot dark gray UI color dot uh, blue UI color dot red and UI color dot green and let's do one more and which will be UI color dot cyan and we need to assign color to our sphere so it will be sphere dot first material dot diffuse dot contents uh, equals to and it will be from colors array and now we want it randomly so we will be using arc for random uniform with upper bound and we have like one two three four and five so upper bound will be five as like counting starts from zero so like there are chances of getting zero one two three or four and uh, this uh, arc for random returns an ui int 32 so we need to convert it to int so let's do that first uh, uh, here we are okay so we are done with the coloring part and we now we just need to create our ball so under touches just type in create ball and just pass in your point vector so here we are done with the coding part and as I showed you uh, the preview of this application in starting of this video so that is basically the output of uh, this program I will show you again and uh, do subscribe if you like my videos and don't forget to hit and hit like and obviously hit like and comment if you have any questions uh, pleasure to help you thank you so this is my place anyways and uh, I'll like I will touch on the screen now so here this is some ball here this is one more let's do one more here 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 and now the best part like just see how amazing it is like you can interact with it okay so if you like go down you get closer to it if you go far the ball the balls get smaller so like i have this jungle over here i live in fairfax if any one of you lives in fairfax duping me we'll catch up someday so this is amazing right like just see that ball that blue one i don't know where it is so like it's and i don't like just see so this is what ar is i'm so much fascinated by ar do let me know what you think about AR. okay guys this is our code and if you wish to get rid of that sheep uh, so like get take this name out take this exclamation out and go to art.scn assets and click on sheep.scn click on the sheep like this sheep and just press delete so it will go and now uh, try to run the application and you will not be getting that sheep again okay thank you guys keep watching